Today's lab is DNA extraction from bananas. And with today's lab, don't forget to wear your safety glasses today. Okay, so first off, we picked bananas for this because bananas are 3N, which is triploid. And because they're triploid, they are loaded with DNA that we can extract. Okay, and today's we're using the marmer preparation method that they use to get out DNA. Okay, so you're gonna start off with getting a piece of banana and you will mash it up at really good, mash it up. It will take a little bit to mash it up. You have your banana all mashed up. We're going to add some solutions to it to help us get the DNA out. And you refer to your lab paper for the amounts of how much you're getting it. So the first thing we're going to add to it is extraction buffer, and that'll just help us extract the DNA. And you use 12 milliliters of it. And you'll put it into your dish. And then after you add the extraction buffer, you will add detergent. And you will add three milliliters of detergent. With your detergent solution, what this does is it breaks down the phospholipid bilayer. After we add the detergent, we will add meat tenderizer to it. And what the meat tenderizer does is it helps break the nucleuses so we can get out DNA. And just give it about a little bit, not too much. And then after you do this, you will stir it, but don't, but stir it kind of slowly because you don't want bubbles. Now that you have stirred the banana and mixed it really well, it is time to extract the, some more steps to extract the DNA. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a coffee filter and you're going to get it wet. And now that it's wet, you're going to take it over to your beaker and you're just going to make it have a little place for the banana mix to pour into to go. And what you'll do is you'll pour out of your dish into the filter to filter out banana bits. Oh, and it will take about 10 minutes for it to drip, so be patient. Okay, now that it's been, it's been filtering for about 10 minutes, you can discard your banana and coffee filter mix. And after you discard it, what you're going to do is you're going to take your solution and you'll pour it into a, a, a tube. Okay, now that it's inside the tube, you are going to add cold cold alcohol to it. Alcohol is lighter than the water and so the DNA will float up into alcohol. Now how you do the alcohol is you get eight, eight milliliters of this. And once you get eight milliliters of alcohol, you'll put it into your test tube. Now how you put it into your test tube is you will tip your test tube sideways with an angle and you will slowly and slowly and gently pour the alcohol into it. And then after your DNA sorts out and starts coming to the top, you will see real DNA. It will be real DNA you will see up in the alcohol layer. And once, you, and once the DNA is all there, your teacher will teach you how to extract the DNA out of it. And once you're all done with that, don't forget to do, to do your lab write-up and answer the questions in the back of the lab.